paint dry because I don't like the oils and the all of that stuff. Um, I've tried several methods over the years. Um, I paint dry really thinned acrylics. Uh, I want to be able to see the wood if I can. Um, I, I like the more grain I can see, the better. I don't care if it's in the face. I, I don't care where it is. I just like to see the grain. Um, and after I paint it, I dip it in boiled linseed oil. I don't tint it. I don't cut it with mineral spirits. I don't do any of that. I, I don't seem to have a lot of the problems that I hear about, or I just don't care enough and don't, don't make it a big enough issue. Um, and after I do that, while it's still wet, let me reach back here. Oh. While it's still wet, um, I have some Howard Speed and Wax. I have two different uh, containers of Howard Speed and Wax. One has about an inch of burnt umber oil, uh, artist oil paint in it. And one is just the clear yellow that it comes. So like, for instance, I don't want a lot of darkness on this white beard. I don't want it, certainly don't want it on my eyes. I don't want it on my uh, skin tone too much. Depends on what I'm doing. Um, so I will come in with just the clear yellow wax and I'll paint everything that I want to stay like the linseed oil has it. Anywhere that I want shadows, like in between all of this, whatever this garment is on this Viking, um, deep in the deep in the armpits or in this arm here between the fingers wherever I want shadow I take that tinted Howard's wax and again it, it takes a little bit of time and finesse to figure out do I want it is dark brown as I have it if I don't want it quite that dark brown I will take and mix it like on a palette on a paper plate and and put it on the carving um, but for instance this that shield that wood shield is is bare wood. It's bare wood with um, dipped in linseed oil. And then that's the tinted Howard Speed and Wax that caused all that shadowing and all that grain look. So I put the dark wax on and now it's a, again, it's a crap shoot, takes a little bit of time to learn the product. And I leave it on for somewhere between, you know, five minutes and 24 hours. Uh, depending upon how much I want it to to do. Um, and the wood grain on that Viking is closer to the 24 hour than the five minutes. Um, so, you know, that's the way I get to shading. I don't have the patience to learn to shade. I hate to paint. Um, painting is just a chore. So this is the way that I found that I can get some shade in there and get some depth without having to work too hard. And then it, as strange as this sounds, after two or three days, after the wax is dried, I do, especially if it's a go by and I'm gonna carry it around and people are gonna handle it, I do spray it with some uh, satin poly. Even over the wax, while it doesn't sound like it should work, I've never had a problem.